What's going on everybody? This is Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video and this time around we are doing an unboxing video. So yes, I'm getting back into doing my product unboxing and product reviews. So there will be more on the way after this one and yes, I will be un uh, reviewing this product as well. So today we're going to be unboxing the Steel Series Arctis Nova Pro Wireless Gaming Headset. So I was in the market for a new premium gaming headset a few months ago and this came out around the time of my birthday also so you know i got it for uh as a birthday gift from my wife the main two reasons i wanted to upgrade from my previous headsets um was i wanted this new headset that i purchased to do two things uh which is what these headsets do right i wanted it to have a dual connection feature which means i can connect it through usb uh you know 2.4 uh gigahertz connection and i wanted it to also have bluetooth so that way i can have these connected directly to my playstation to take advantage of the playstation feature that it supports which is 3d audio and i wanted to simultaneously uh, be able to connect this to my pc so i can all you know talk in discord and um hear in discord really because i'm not using the mic on, on these headsets but hear Discord, hear any videos that I'm playing on my PC, and also hear the actual game audio that is coming directly from my, my PS5. And like I said, I really wanted to experience the, uh, the feature that the PlayStation support uh, supports, which is like 3D audio, spatial audio. So I want to experience and see how impactful um, you know, those uh, audio features are. So just to provide some minor details about these headsets, I'll get into more in-depth uh, specifics when I do my review, but these headsets come with leather ear cups, which have the propensity to get a little bit hot on your ears and make your ears sweat after prolonged use. I'll have to see if that's the same case with these. It supports 360 spatial audio, and that's enhanced with the sonar software that you can download uh, for these headsets and you can change some settings and customize the EQ um, and they're fully compatible with the Tempest 3D audio for PS5 and the Microsoft spatial sound audio. These headsets also have noise cancellation. They have 40 millimeter drivers in the air cups. They have the 2.4 uh, gigahertz connection and Bluetooth as I already mentioned. They come with two USB-C to USB-A cables and one 3.5 millimeter audio cable for line in and line out, which you may or may not need depending on if you're a streamer and somebody who records their gameplay because PlayStation, as we know, did not, decided to not include an optical audio drive uh, or port with the PlayStation 5, which forced streamers and recorders and content creators to find roundabout ways to make sure they record their audio um, and get audio when they stream into their headsets and to their to, to their actual audience. Um, it has a retractable microphone, but I don't know anybody who actually uses the microphone on their gaming headsets at all because Discord exists now, so nobody's even using in-game chat anymore. Um, some people may use the uh, you know the the PlayStation or the Xbox Party Chat feature, but I feel like that's kind of dying off. I can't remember the last time I've ever done it, so I just talk through Discord. So the mic is usually useless in these situations, but of course they got to come with them uh, with these headsets, um, even though they're not of the best quality. This also does come with a a uh, a pop filter for the uh, for the retractable microphone. So this headset comes with two batteries and a dual wireless base station, which also functions as a charger. So while one battery is in the headset and you can charge it through USB-C while it's in the headset, the second battery, you can put it inside the base station and it'll charge it while you're using the other battery, which is obviously in the headset. So that's pretty cool. This base station functions as a hub, which you can directly connect two different audio sources through USB-C. This is also where your line in and line out is. And once powered on, this base station has an interactable inter interface and you can go in and change some settings and change some options. So for example, you can connect your PlayStation and PC or your PS5 
and your Xbox directly to this hub, and you could always switch to which audio source you want on at the time, which is why I mentioned earlier, it's important that it also has the option for Bluetooth, because if it's directly connected to the hub, it is only, you know, you can only uh, choose one to switch to. So that's my unboxing video. Like I said, review is on the way. Let me know what y'all think about this. Please hit the like button. I will catch y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.